I think it's a, a curious decision. Of course it's true that the European Union represented um, a step away from the settlement of national xenophobic quarrels um, which had caused so much mayhem in Europe and the rest of the world um, for so much of the 20th century. Um, and of course, the successful establishment of the European Union with the enlargement to the former Warsaw Pact countries um, helped to ensure the spreading of democracy um, and prosperity which wasn't necessarily a given after the collapse of communism. Just as the um, taking Spain and Portugal and Greece into the European Union after the uh, collapse of fascist authoritarianism helped to strengthen democracy in those countries. All that's true. But I'm pretty skeptical about the choice of institutions for that prize. Because for a lot of people, um, it will provoke cynical amusement. I thought it was, frankly, I, I was a great fan of President Obama during his election campaign. I thought it was a mistake to give him, a week after he'd won the American election, the Nobel Prize. Um, I think it's not very sensible to give an institution, in this case, the Nobel Prize. I don't think it's very sensible to give economic and social reformers the Nobel Prize. That's not what it's been for over the years. So, um, if I'd been on the Nobel Committee, chance would be a fine thing. Um, I'm not sure that would have been my, my first uh, choice. Um, sometimes individuals who are part of institutions <coughs> deserve getting the prize. There was a time when Kofi Annan and the UN got the Nobel Prize. I thought Kofi Annan deserved it personally for what um, he had uh, done. So, to President Van Rompuy and um, President Barroso, um, well, I wish them well in their visit to Oslo um, and uh, hope they spend the money wisely. 